and mother bitches. Uh, coming to you on a rainy Tuesday afternoon. It's been fucking unseasonably warm, which more likely is why my allergies are totally fucked up right now. I can't breathe. My eyes is itching. My eyes is burning. Feels like I somebody done slapped gonorrhea up in them. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Got clap now in the orbital sockets. I don't know. I'm fucking dying. I can't breathe. But uh, bring you a little gameplay from last night's festivities. Back on the, back in the horse, back on the saddle in domination. Playing as a six-man group. Oh, watch it, Ham. Fucking, I'm just spraying and praying right now. He tastes a freight train, motherfucker. And I'm going to give you a tasty tidbit. When you're playing right here, when you're capturing, have a man cover your back and look under this bus. Look under the Marley and Griffin van. You can see people coming. That's how I caught him. Caught his footsteps. And then try to have somebody cover your ass, which no one was, because we catching every fucking map. We fucking every fucking headquarters. You ain't taking B, bitch. Hard right. Hard right. I, uh, it's a rebel. It's a rebel pastime for when you're calling a predator missile in. We give what we call the Arab surprise. And that is when you call one in, you don't tell anybody, hey, I got a predator coming. No. You know it by one sound. That's, you know when a rebel, if you're playing with the rebels and you hear him scream out, his fucking predator war cry. You know, hard rain's coming, damn it. But a uh, couple topics I want to touch. First off, uh, expect getting closer mid February. Expect some uh, some NASCAR topics to be kicking in. We got the Gatorade duels coming. Uh, I think it's February twenty third, twenty third, I believe. I think it's right. I ain't checking my calendar. I ain't got my phone up. It's dead. But, uh, you know, we'll kick off. Look at that. Ham, Ham called that bitch out. He said, you got one on your six, brother. But uh, another another topic close to heart. And many of you, if you play solo, you're not going to understand a damn thing I'm saying. You're going to think I'm fucking retarded. But playing as a group. Communication with your group. A lot of times, and we're the, guy, we're the damn world's worst. We've run more people off from playing with our core members. Our core four members. Five. We have pissed off more people in the last seven years. And it doesn't matter what game we're on because we do play the first-person shooters. It doesn't matter from the inception of the Rebel family when it was fucking Medal of Honor Rising Sun down to fucking Battlefield on the PS2 to any of the Call of Duty games. I've seen more Class A gamers. And when I say Class A, I'm talking top tier, top of the line, Rebel Warriors. That's the only way to explain it. Just fucking, and I saw him coming in my back door, and he's going to bust me a shotgun. I don't have, I'm a fucking guards down this round. He's going to jump in and shoot me. He was hunting me. The fuck, I don't know, hunting the white man. But I've pissed off and kicked out and annihilated more friends on this game. That I, more likely, you never meet in person. But they family. You play with somebody for three, four hours a night, they family. I just walked around and tasted his fucking muzzle. Got the muzzle blast all up in my jowls. But the ones that love it, the ones that stay, the ones that take this game, game for game, it is a game, but I don't like losing. I got a competitive nature about me I seen coming. What the fuck is wrong with me? I got too much of a competitive nature. And whether you played sports or not, 99% of the people playing this game don't play it just to sit in a corner and get, you know, get, get three or four kills in a game. Whether that's their game of style or not, they competitive. That's why we play. That's why it's multiplayer based. Yeah, I've, I've yet, I'll be honest with you, I need to start making videos of it. I've yet to turn to single player game mode on this game. I've yet to even look at it. I don't, my fucking default screen goes to multiplayer. I said that the very damn first night I got it. I can't help it. I'm a multiplayer fucking phenom. I love it. And I'm somewhat, I, I'll be the first one to tell you. I'm not the greatest player in the world, but I wouldn't want to play, I wouldn't want to play against me. I just, I'm going to throw that up on the table right now. Damn it. Yo! <laughs> oh, my head gets bigger every time I talk on these videos. I can't help it. But I fucking still fight this damn code. I just wish I could fucking get over it. But to heal up from surgery. But, you know, I see my man Big Country last night on Twitter. And I see some people hammering on him because, they, th you know, they fought him and one of the, one of the Yoush brother, one of his gamers. I think it's Big Nappy. One of them, you know, thinking, and I may have got his name wrong. No, no, uh. 
no disrespect towards you, Nappy. But they immediately they go to thinking that there's problems within the brotherhood there. And I can tell you right now, if you listen to any of the rebels play, by God, we are cussing each other. Motherfucker, get up here and cover my ass. Fuck, what the fuck are you doing? That's just a small sample. That's why I can't bring you much live play. We have ethnicities from all genres, and we do speak the native tongue of some of them. We will say words that are not appropriate for YouTube community players. And I'll tell you, that's just because we family. They call me whatever. I'll tell you right now. Biggie has called me everything but a white man, and I've called him everything but my chocolate love slave. I can't help it. We love each other like that. But we respect each other in the same sense. That's why we play together. You know, yeah, outside the game, we are family. You know, we've played with Big. Biggie's the biggest example I can explain to you. You see my man, Big Daddy. Been playing with him for well over five years. There are times that we get in an awful cussing match, and I will turn this fucking console off and break a damn controller because I'm so mad at him. But in the same sense, tomorrow night when we get on, that motherfucker's got my back. It don't matter what went down. You let it roll off because we're competitive. It's just the way we are. And you see any clan, any team. You see people. If you watch fucking watch Friday Night Fights on Elite, go through and watch them. Watch the, watch the losing team. You watch how they get disgusted with one another. And you got to realize these people love each other. You don't play this game. Fuck, I play, I play this game more than I tickle my wife's clip. Because more likely, I just want to make a three and a half minute fist of the fury. And I'm done. But Biggie, I'll butter him up for two weeks. I can't. Why in the fuck is my, re my fucking recon drone not killing people? Took a fucking 55 bullets in this bitch's ass. Look, right in the fucking scrotum. He's got a bulletproof cup. That's what only explanation. He's been watching Super Troopers. Fucking shoot a rocket up in his bitch ass. But, uh, you know, my man, don't you can't you can't give these people hell until you know what it's like to play with a play with a clan, play with a group of people that's family. What are you doing laying down, bitch? Fucking your plane crashing into me. But uh, that's that's my stand on it. You know, you may not understood me. I may have just been speaking a bunch of gibberish, but. You know, until you've until you've played with a group, you expect more. I expect excellence out of every one of my rebels when we play every night. And I'm gonna tell you about it if you, I don't think you're playing up to par. I'm gonna give you a little taste. Of t Jeff takes shit from all of us and just sits back. He's quiet, but he, I can guarantee you, as much shit as we put Jeffrey through, crafty, as much shit as we put him through, he's fucking got you back, and he'll take it because he knows, and he'll dish it out every now and then. Normally he don't because he's got kids close. He ain't as belligerent as me. My kids gonna grow up and be fucking prison inmates and fucking social discrepancies to the world. I can't help it. That's, they won't be like a daddy. <laughs> but, uh, fuck, that's enough of that. That's enough of it. You know, that's my soapbox. And normally I don't use my YouTube page for platform to be bitching and stuff. But I'm just telling you. When you play the group, then, no, watch me fucking. I get impatient. That's the reason I fucked up this whole game. Took a fucking 12 gauge of the scrotum. His Mossberg just lacerated him. But, you know, ease up on him. Don't, until you play at the group, you can't assume anything. Especially in this fucking Call of Duty, because it's cutthroat industry. Cutthroat! Just like his YouTube shit. People give you shit, you fuck up one video. Oh my God, you the worst commentator I ever heard. And then people hammering on these networks. I can tell you right now. This is another little soapbox for me. As this is, I'm gonna call this video "Redbeard Soapbox." When you uh, when you apply to a YouTube channel and you get denied, keep trying. You have no I mean, you have no idea how many fucking rejection letters I've got. But now I'm home. I'm with Yoush, and they're taking care of me, and I love them for it. And I'm gonna continue to make biblical commentaries to promote them and myself. But uh, till next time, I bring you some more Redbeard's antics. Look at 33 and 15. That's fucking disrespectful. This is, I'm mad. Fuck! I'm so sick of myself. I'm glad I talked a lot so you didn't have to watch that ugly ass gameplay. But till next time. Peace out, bitches!